Promo Academy. Introduction. Hi everybody, welcome to this video introduction to promo. In this video, I just want to go over the basics of creating a video from A to Z. So let's get started. So our first step is going to be to find the first video that we want to use. Let's say that I'm going to make a fashion video, so I'm just going to type in fashion in the search. So you can see here that the top results are from the promo collection. And let's just have a look at one. Okay, so these are basically templates that have been put together by a creative team, including all the textiles, the footage, the music, and the outro. And you can just click on one, edit the text, and update to your logo, and make it yours super fast. So if we go into one of the videos that we select, uh, you see this bar at the bottom. This is the video's timeline. So this video is 16 seconds, and uh, we can choose to use less of it. Okay, so when we hover over videos in the search panel, there's a little star on the top right corner which we can uh, select, which will save this video to our favorites. So we can go over to our favorites and see all the videos that we've saved uh, over time. Okay, so let's pretend that my name is Teddy and I'm in the lemon honey pie business. And I want to make a short video to promote my lemon honey pie business on social networks. So first, I'm going to look for a lemons video. Let's take a look at this one. Fantastic. Look at that juice. All right. So I'm going to click the use button. And this is going to take me to the caption screen. Here we can see the timeline on the bottom. I have my lemons video and I have three bars above it. The first two are captions, text captions. And the last one is the outro. All right. So I'm going to double click on the text and enter the text for my first caption. Okay, so this is a default text style, but it doesn't really work here. The text uh, is white, so I can change it to a darker color or choose a text style with a background. Yeah. All right, these text styles look much better. You can move the text style around to uh, wherever you want to on the screen and just uh, scroll through the different text styles options until you find one that works best for you. All right, I like this one. I can move it around to wherever I want, like I said, but I think I wanted uh, to center it above the lemon. I would like to choose a different font. So we have the font selection on the left side here. We can scroll through the fonts. And I just want something maybe bolder. So I'll go with, uh, yeah, Helvetica Black. And I'd like to have the text in all caps. So I'll just click on the caps button. All right, so far so good. But I do want to change the color of the text. Now I can change the background or the text color. I'm going to change the background color to this uh, purple reddish thingy here. Mm, green. Green's not bad, but I'm going to go back with the purple or the burgundy. You can also easily scale it with a drag box around it until you're happy with the text size. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it back down and center it where it was in the beginning. All right. Fantastic. All right. So the lemon video I chose is a bit too long for my taste. It's 12 seconds. I want to cut it down to around three, four seconds. 12 seconds is way too much for one lemon. So I can hover over the video layer and the edit button will show up. And I could just go ahead and click on it. When I click on it, three options will come up. Trim video, duplicate and replace. I'm going to hit trim video. This would allow me to edit this single clip. So I can just come in here, make it longer, shorter, move the selected area to a different part of the video and just click apply and it will automatically apply on my timeline. Okay. So to the left of the timeline, you can see a small pink plus button. And when I click on it, I can add a new caption, a new video or a new photo to the timeline. And you can't make my pies without the honey. So I'm going to look for a honey video now. That is some good looking honey. Great. So I'm going to add this to my video. Okay. So now best practice would probably be to choose uh, the same textile that we used before, but I'm just going to play around with a different one for this demonstration. I like this one. 
and I'm gonna scale it up. Okay, so I want to make it just two lines actually. So I'm gonna go inside the text and uh, bring the word finest back up. And now I want to make it uh, I want to make it centered, the alignment centered of the text. So I can click on the alignment button. I can do it left, right, or center. I want to play with the colors here. It's a little bright. Let's take it to uh, black. Okay, so let's move on to the outro. Now the first thing I'm going to do is upload my logo. You can use any PNG or JPEG file. I'm going to go uh, go with a different type of outro here. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the website outro. You can scale your logo up, scale it down, move it around. That looks pretty good. Now enter our text. <clears throat> okay, so right now the outro is on the second video that I chose with the honey, but Now I want to use my own uh, picture Something that's uh, more personal to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my uploads and There I have my uploaded videos and my uploaded photos, which I can choose from um, now I'm gonna upload a special photo that was taking in the lemon honey fair on the red carpet event over there now it's a really great photo of me, but unfortunately my ex is in it also. But we're gonna find a solution for that. Man, I look great in blonde. So I'm gonna choose an outro called Splitty. And it has a split screen effect, sort of. And you can see that right now it's covering me, but we can change the uh, alignment to the right and all our problems are solved. All right, now to add music to our video. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. You can hover over the music icon and listen to the music. Uh, there is a filter. You can filter it by mood, by tempo. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and choose uh, funny and happiness for our music. I want something light. Okay, definitely go with the whistling here. Okay, so let's uh, save and preview our video. All right then, Stanley Kubrick is turning in his grave. However, I did see some uh, I did see some things that I wanted to fix. The logo is too small and I haven't capitalized all my lettering. So I can go ahead and click customize and go back into the video. Just, uh, there we go. Capitalize all my letters, make the logo big and nice. And that's it, I'm good to go again. All right, so this has been more of a technical introduction to promo. I know you guys are gonna make much better videos than this one. There are also a bunch of uh, other tutorials, shorter ones about separate features like the textiles, the outros. You should uh, go check them out. Um, that's it guys, good luck. Go make videos.